nerve sutta a person should venerate the one from whom he would learn the dhamma just as the deities venerate indra being venerated and learned one pleased with him reveals the dhamma having attended and listened to it practicing in accordance with the dhamma a wise pupil who heedfully follows such a teacher becomes intelligent incisive and astute but if one resorts to a petty fool who has not reached the goal and is full of envy not having discerned the dhamma right here one meets death still immersed in doubt it is like a man who might enter a river a torrent roiling with a swift current being swept away flowing with the stream how could he help others to cross just so without having discerned the dhamma without attending to the meaning under the learned ones not understanding it oneself immersed in doubt how can one get others to perceive it but as one who has embarked on a strong boat equipped with an oar and a rudder skillful thoughtful knowing the method there might thereby convey many others across just so a knowledgeable master self developed learned and of unwavering character understanding it himself might get others to perceive it those equipped with attentive ears as a supporting condition therefore one should follow the good person one who is intelligent and learned having known the meaning practicing alone one who has understood the dhamma can obtain bliss